Hi and welcome to my channel. So now I'm going to try to make a new master rod for my radial engine. And we start with cutting this piece of aluminium. Not too bad. Now we need some bushings. So, the master rod is finished, looks good, I even made a little oil channel here, 
if it collects oil in this groove here, it will find its way into the, the bushing, I hope. So, there's only one problem. This one is 170 grams lighter than the old one. And that weight has to come off the counterweight. And as you see, I had problems when I made this. I thought that I had a big chunk of metal here, but when I was balancing the crankshaft, it wasn't enough. So I have to add on seven millimeters. And now I have to remove it again. So, the crankshaft is ready, I've got the weight of the counterweight here, I have straightened it so it's, it, I got it down to two hundredths of a millimeter, and that should be fine. Uh, I even made a new crank pin, because the old one has ceased so so now i need cone rods four of them so let's make them
So, I believe the crankshaft is finished. Now we just have to put everything together. When I took the engine apart, the master rod was seized to the crank pin. So I have a lubrication problem. Uh, the crank pin is supposed to be lubricated from the oil pump up in the channel here and out through a hole or a nozzle. But that nozzle is placed too low. So what I have done is I have drilled a new hole from above and made a new nozzle here. So it can squirt the crack paint. And I have also got a question from Adrian Smith. He wants to know the exact angles of the pivot points on the master rod. So I will finish this video by showing you a little picture and next time we will put it together.